right, welcome back. First in Weasels Over Syria, Mission 6. This is going to be for people that are new to the F-16, new to DCS campaigns. I'll be walking you through each step of the things that I'm doing. If I forget to explain something I did, uh, let me know in the comments below. Hey, what'd you do there? How, how did you get that up on your HUD or whatever? I'll uh, And I'll try and get you an answer. All right, let's get started. Metro Indigo. <laughs> All right, start the aircraft, get airborne. So. Let's get the canopy closed. There goes one. All right, main power switch to main power. And then we're going to ask the tower for uh, startup clearance. So right control, backslash, F10. And you can turn on Immortal up here by hitting F1 or press F2 to request engine start. So we're going to hit F2. Hotel 4 ground, sort to 1, requesting engine start. Sort 2 1 cleared for engine start. All right, start 2. Probably had the, should have had the radio on. But Sim doesn't seem to care. All right, I'm not going to be following the proper procedure as I Search never do. One, starting up. We're just going to get everything set up the way we like. Get this thing ready. This is not the way you're supposed to do it, but it works. Gets us in the air fast. All right. All right, we're at 20% now. We're going to go over the horn. There we go. Parking brakes on. Engine online. All right, let's lower the brightness of our Hemix and our HUD. <laughs> All right, press list, select, recall, and dauber right, and we're going to align our hemix. So hit select for course, and we're gonna line the crosses up, and we're gonna hit enable switch depress, and hold it, and that'll align that, and then select and select again, and you can use RDR cursor to move the crosses around. Get them lined up. There we go. Select, select again. And then you can use RDR cursor to do the roll. Get that lined up. Select. And dauber left. List. And six for the INS alignment so we can watch that. Looking good. If you have your Hemix up, you can press and hold DMS down to turn it off. Press and hold DMS down again to turn it back on. All right, a line is flashing on the hood. We got ready and it is at 10 here on the INS. So we're gonna set the INS alignment to nav and we are ready to go so dauber left to go back to the main DED page right control backslash we're gonna hit F10 and request taxi from ground you can still turn on immortal sort to one requesting taxi clearance sort to one you are cleared for taxi to runway all right let's turn our taxi light on Sort Hit the one. nose wheel steering switch. Uh, let's uh, uh, parking brake. Turn that off. Let's roll out. Security forces on the ramp again. No, I know, I know it's there to prevent us from taking off before Sword 1, but 
I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> Get out the way. All right, right shift K to pull up our knee board. And we're going to cycle through all this and get to the knee board for the campaign. Pin this one. And we're going to pin that one too. So we've got uh, tower on uh, VHF2, departure on VHF3. So right shift K, hit 2, 2, enter to talk to the tower. Let's pull up to the runway here. Runway threshold, and then we'll call the tower. All right, right control backslash F10, request takeoff. Notice you can't set immortal anymore. So if you're gonna do immortal, you need to do that back at your parking spot. So F1. Hotel four tower, sort to one requesting takeoff. So 21, you are cleared for takeoff on runway 28, wind 292 for 7 knots, altimeter 2975. Sort 21. Alright, we'll line her up. And we're gonna push her up to about 80%, make sure we don't got any lights, warnings, Gripes, anything like that, push up to full mill. Let go of the brakes. Oop, forgot to turn off my nose wheel steering. This is why Switch I always turn that off before takeoff. There we go. And then I use my brakes, left and right brakes, until I get enough speed that I can use the rudder. I know that's probably not proper, but it works in the sim and works for me. And we're at good speed now, we'll go ahead and rotate. A little bit of a bounce there. Sort to one, wheels up. Gear up. We're gonna hold a heading of 280. We're gonna stay below 4,000 feet. So I usually, what I've been doing is, I've been getting up to about 3,000. And we are very heavy on the right wing because we've got uh, laser guided bombs over there and we only have a harm on the left wing. So we're going to trim that out. And we're going to altitude hold here. And call departure. So two, three, enter. Right control backslash F10. Contact departure. Hotel 4 departure, sir 21 departing from runway 28. Sir 21, turn heading 035, climb flight level 220. Turn 035, climb flight level 220, sir 21. Alright, 35, 220, so we're gonna turn right. Zero one, zero two, zero three, zero three five. We'll level our wings. We're we'll climb up to twenty two thousand feet. We're starting to lose a lot of airspeed, so we're gonna drop the nose about five degrees. And if you have this trimmed out, uh, and you have your autopilot to attitude hold for the pitch and attitude hold for the roll, you should be able to let go of the stick, right? like I am right now. I'm not touching the stick, and she'll just keep, keep herself steady. Let's go back to 035. One last thing I forgot to do, 
Uh, we still have that GPS issue here, so we're going to hit list and enter, and then one to turn off the GPS time. Wait till in progress goes away, give it a couple seconds, and then we're going to hit one again. Turn it back on, you'll see course. And fine, you can dob or left to go back. And now we've, ha oh, we've got our uh, data link back up. We're back at 036, so let's get back over to 035. Go to one, continue on heading 035. Oh, I'm not staying on my heading. H4 has got a number for me to call. <laughs> Alright. We're going to turn the brightness up here. Sun's coming up. And we're going to lock uh, PDLT on 3, which I believe is Sword 1 1. And there he is right there. Angels 22 is what we're looking for. I'm going to drop the nose because we're losing airspeed. Contract speed, at least on the servers I fly, usually is about 350, 300 to 350. So I'm a little fast, but two, two still catching up to me. What's up, two? <laughs> I just suck at keeping my heading, huh? Alright, passing through Angels 20 right now. Moving on up to Angels 22. Go to one, hotel for departure, handing off. All right. Proceed to waypoint one. So we're gonna go to uh, to the roll here, and we're gonna select steering select, and that'll point us towards the steer point. Contact Popeye. Press spacebar when the radio is set for sword flight. So sword flight. Right shift K is channel seven, or preset seven. So two, seven, enter, space bar. Sword one one, sword two one, approaching waypoint one. Copy, sword two one. Sword flight, push for waypoint two, angels 20. All right, so we can select the waypoints by hitting this up and down arrow here. And you'll see your steer point right here. You'll also see it denoted by the solid dot on your HSD. So if I go to waypoint one, you'll see that goes hollow. Waypoint two, solid. All right. And since I have the autopilot set to steering select, and we just passed through Angels 22 because I'm talking. I'm gonna descend. Uh, we're also going to set it to altitude hold. All right, Sentinel is two. Sword one, two, set. So UHF Sword is two, COM two, one, set. two, enter. Sword space two, star. Two. Space Sword bar. Two, one, set. There we go. Sentinel, Sword one, one. So flight airborne is proceeding on mission zero, nine, zero, one. Request for it. Sword one, one, Sentinel. You are clear to proceed. That's for you. Add the picture is clear. That team is available for low down. Copy all Sentinel. Sword one, one, out. Sword flight, switch vacuum on uniform. Sword 1 2 set. Sword 2 2 set. Sword 2 1 set. Vacuum, sword 1 1. Sword 1 vacuum. 
Vacuum shoulders inbound on Metro Indigo, request lowdown. Copy short one, standby, low down, Metro Indigo. Six in awake, forward 155 for 117 loop. Six awake, forward 156 for 105 tight. And low down. Copy all vacuum, short one one, out. Okay, forward 156 for 105. That puts the active SA6 somewhere close to the Shakia mine. Copy, tank. Sands are less active than I expected. Probably lying in wait for us. Yeah, no doubt. I'm sure they'll come up quick enough once Bart starts doing their thing. You have new optional conversation is available, so backslash F10 uh, review attack plan, review EW plan. Let's do review attack plan. Everyone clear on the attack plan? It's going to take some careful coordination. We need everyone to be right on point. One last review can't hurt. Let's do it. Once partner on station and we hit our ID, we will split into three groups with sword two pushing south, sword three hooking north and sword one pushing straight in from the east. Each flight will proceed to its weapons release point at waypoint four, and each of us will be ready to fire a harm at the gauntlet's position as we arrive. On my signal, we will launch our harm. We need to be sharp here, and I want all shots off within 10 seconds of my initial shot so that we saturate the target. Once you've released your harm, you will each break to your right and hold an arc that keeps you outside of the SA-15's engagement zone. Once the SA-15 is taken down, Rotor, Thug, and Ghost will break off to suppress the other SAMs within our AOR. The rest of us will turn into the target at 30 second intervals and carry out our strikes. I will push first, followed by Forrest, and finally Tank. The cloud is going to force us into AAA at manpad range, so avoid flying predictably and be ready with the countermeasures. I do not advise making more than one pass on the target. So one pass and haul at. You said it, Rotor. Once we've hit our targets, we egress and rally at our RV point to waypoint point six. Okay, everyone good? Yep. yep. Got it, Bob. All right, backslash F10, review EW plan. Lee, can we review the electronic attack plan one last time? Copy, Forrest. The growlers will arrive on station at 0253 Zulu and will remain on station for 15 minutes. From their orbits, they will perform a standoff jam of the target area. This will deny any radars in the area accurate information on what we're doing and prevent them being able to lock us up at range. The jamming should be sufficient to allow us to close on Metro Indigo without being engaged. Now with a standoff jam, our positioning is key. We need to be within the area of effect of the jamming. Get out of position and clear the jamming screen and you risk being easy picket. But today, providing you stick to the flight plan, that shouldn't be an issue. However, get too close to a radar and it will burn through the jamming and we'll be able to pick you out from the background noise. Finally, we need to pay close attention to Spartans of all time. Once it's up and they leave, Sword flight, waypoint two, fence in. All right, fence in. So we are going to set this to transmit. We're gonna go operate. This is the ECM. We're gonna turn our lights off. And that all looks good. I'm gonna turn this up. <clears throat> turn that all on, semi looks good. We're gonna to go to master arm on, so I don't forget. Going to waypoint three, air to ground. Sword one one fence, all swords roll call. TGP one over two. here. Got a weapon here. Boris? Yep, I'm good. Two one. Turn our 88 two. on. Three one. Set this to CCRP. Copy 
Alright, blue two. It's way down here. 17. So, 117. Enter. Space bar. Sword 2 1 set. Alright. Spartan 3, Sword 1 1, Sword approaching IP. We're gonna zoom in here. Sword 1 1, Spartan 3. We are inbound on IP. Stand by. Alright, growlers are on their way. Early. Hold position east of IP until Spartan are in position. Hold east of waypoint 3 until Spartan is in position. So. We're going to take off the uh, steering select. We're going to start a right hand orbit. So we can stay east. There they are. Just push the throttle up. And we'll follow them out. Counter. That SA-2 is pinging me. Take the test page and set that to had and get that ready. Zoom in here a little bit. We're going to watch this SA-15 here because that's our target. So there's one and then that's the approximate location of the SA-15. And it looks like the growlers are, growlers are almost here, so we'll just hang out here for a little bit. Sword 1-1, one, one, Spartan 3 ready. Music on. Alright. Autopilot off. And music on, music so on. CMS aft. Oh, sorry, gotta go into manual mode. Aft. Sword 2 pushing. And we're transmitting. Sword 3 pushing. So, we are going to go south. And then come up on the 15. We've got PGM-2 on that 15, so we're ready to go. Proceed as brief to waypoint 4. Be ready to launch a harm at the SA-15. Now what's cool about this is uh, 1 and 3 are going to be coming at, at, in at different locations and basically we're going to saturate this SA-15 with harms. You fire one harm at an SA-15, it's just going to shoot it down. Alright, looks like they're turning in. Let's start turning towards the 15. Still got PGM-2, so it's not the best, but... Mud 8. Alright, here we go. Master arm on. We're in the six. Sword one one. Sword one two. Magnum. Metro Indigo. All right. Magnum two one. Magnum. And we're gonna come back around. We're gonna switch to our GBU twelves. Sword 22 Magnum SA 15. And 
I'm getting down to below the cloud deck here. I'm going to switch back to the HSD by pressing the DMS right. So you can switch your MFDs by pressing DMS left or right to cycle through them. Fifteen is down. Sword one one pushing. All right, here we go. Wait thirty seconds and turn in towards Mesa to go destroy the tin shield radar. All right, so we're going to TMS left, and we are looking for the radar. There it is. Sword two two engaging SA six hold one five five for one one three. There it is. Got it. Sword two one pushing. All right, we're gonna arm our laser. There it is. Bring the altitude up a little too low now. Line this up. Lost our lock on the radar. And we're waiting for this carrot to come down to that staple right there. And we'll get the launch or the uh, release cue. Nice. Pressing and holding the release weapon release button. There it goes. Fire the laser. Off to the left because our laser's on the right. And we're going to roll over to the right. Get out of here. Four three one. Target destroyed. Nice. Port flight test is clear through the target. Push the route. All right, we're gonna go to waypoint five. Or sorry, six. There we go. That's our egress. I am in full burn, as you can see. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Angels 22 ought to do it. Let's get our air to ground. There we go. And we're going to disarm our laser. So back to off. And uh, we'll leave Master Arm on for now. Uh, we're almost out of that six ring. Just a little hit and run. There's Sword 1-1. One, one. Let's slow down. heavy on the right wing because now we have no harm and we still got a, a laser guided bomb there so I'm going to trim this out and it seems like sword 1-1 flies at about 300 knots so I 
Stern, select. Stern, select. Short flight is clear. We are RTP. Thanks for the assist. Nice. Growlers are out. Copy sword one. Spartan is RTB. On to waypoint seven. Actually, we're not there yet. Sword plate, roll call. Sword one two. Sword two one. Yeah, sword two two is up. Sword three one. Sword three two is up. All right, everybody's here. Copy, sword flight. Fence out. Push for home. All right, fence out. So, sword master arm. Master arm sword off. Three one. And yeah, we're gonna turn our uh, ECM to standby. Turn the lights back on. Return to H4. All right. So I'm not gonna bother staying with Sword One One. He's too slow. <laughs> Almost at Angels 22 Sentinel, here. Which Sentinel on uniform? Alright, Sentinel is 2, I believe. Sword 1, 2, set. Yes. Com 1. Sword 2, 2, set. 2, enter. Sword 3, 1, ready. Spacebar. Sword 2, 1, set. Capital Sword 1, 1. Go ahead, sword one one. Check on sword flight is off mission at RTV. Confirm all metro into their targets destroyed. Outstanding sword flight, outstanding. Don't get yourselves home. Clear to RTV. Okay, sword flight, good work today. That was a well executed strike. Good thing we had Growlers supporting us. That was a well-defended airspace. Yeah, the Growlers, it that was, was cool. Hopefully that was a good reminder to us all about the importance of beating your TOT and managing your SA. Now let's get home. We'll go over this more in the debrief. See you all on the ground. Coming up on 7. If you want, you can put it on auto, so hit steer point number four, dauber down, and hit select. That'll change it to auto. And once you hit seven, the uh, autopilot will automatically start flying you to eight. So watch. Watch the dot. Oh. I must have gotten it too late. It didn't switch to eight. <laughs> so we'll go back to manual. I think I switched it way too late. It would have came around, we'd have done an orbit, hit seven, and then it would have switched to eight. But if you set it to uh, set it to auto, once you get to that waypoint, the computer will automatically switch to the next waypoint and fly you there. So you can set it to this and. Go get a drink, use a pedal pack, whatever. I'm gonna go back to manual. Alright, we're gonna just check everything here. Yeah, we're good. I guess I could. There we go. Alright. Just sit back and relax. Take a breather. <laughs> Come on, two. Let's go. I need my BDA. I don't know if we're going to do a BDA. Maybe we, maybe we won't. zoom out here a little bit so we have uh, alpha 
right here. Then we have Bravo right here. And then H4 right here. Buck, 60 miles to H4, making contact. All right. So we're going to right shift K and H4 approach. It's going to be four, and then we're going to switch to five. So two, four, enter. Right control, backslash, F10, contact, approach. Hotel four approach, sword to one inbound. Sword to one, proceed to hotel four airspace. Check in at flight level 180. Push to RAPCON arrival at 30 mile mark. Flight level 180, sword to one. All right, so we're gonna drop the altitude hold, descend to 180, Angels 18, a diamond right there out ahead is our waypoint. And if we wanna see the distance, we're going to go up to uh, waypoint 11, which is H4. And you can see the distance right here. You have waypoint 11. Distance is 46 miles. Or you can see it down here. The arrow is pointing towards that waypoint. 46 miles, 45.8. We're going to keep flying to... Waypoint 9, get to Angels 18. Let's descend a little faster here. Let's go back up a little bit. Altitude hold. And waypoint 9. Switch this to attitude hold for the roll and switch to waypoint 11. And we are almost at 30. There we go. All right. Right control backslash. Oh, we got to change our frequency. So five. So two, five, enter. Then right con uh, control backslash F10. Contact hotel arrival. Hotel four arrival. Sword two one entering hotel four airspace. Sword 21, cleared for approach Bravo. Maintain flight level 180. Approach Bravo, flight level 180. Sword right. 21. So Bravo, we're going to go to this waypoint right here. And we're going to maintain 18,000 feet. I don't know how sensitive ATC is about 10 feet. I was told by an airline pilot that was giving me some IFR training in DCS that he had an instructor that said if you can hold 1810, you can hold 1800 or 18,000. <laughs> Uh, I think at the time I was holding 18.1 or something like that. It was like 100 feet, and it was like consistent. And he's like, if you can hold 100, then you can hold 18,000. All 
All right, we're gonna slow down. Coming up on. Waypoint nine here. Not quite there though, so. Get ourselves pointed that way. In fact, I'm gonna go out away from it so I can turn in. Cause this is a counterclockwise orbit around the airfield. Zero seven zero. Flight level zero seven zero. Sort two one. Turn the altitude or the uh, autopilot off. Go below the cloud deck here. Drop the throttle to idle. Use God's G. We're gonna descend down to seven thousand feet. Two eight zero is the runway heading in this direction, so up to seven thousand. We're gonna hold it here. terrible airline pilot. I can't keep a, an altitude or a heading work to save my life. <laughs> I'm always 20 feet above or below and... Sword 2-1, exit pattern and push the tower. Off by a degree. Sword exit pattern. Alright, so... Right shift K. Tower is 2, so we're gonna go 2, 2, enter. Right control backslash F10, request landing. Hotel 4 Tower, Sword 21 requesting landing. Sword 21 cleared for landing runway 28, winds 292 for 7 knots. Runway 28, Sword 21. Runway 28, alright, so that's on the opposite side of where we're at now, which means we gotta go over that city. And if I remember right, that city is. Altitude restriction of above, uh, you know, anything below 7,500 feet, and I'm at 7,000 per the tower's request. So I need to go around the city, I guess, or I can climb up, get above 7,500. But I don't know. I mean, tower said 70, so 
I'm just gonna go around the city. Because I don't want to break the airspace and lose a point. So I'm going to go a little outside the five mile range that you're supposed to stay within, but I don't know how else, to, I mean, I'm not going to fly over the city at 7,000 and get docked for it, so we'll just go around it. I believe the heading for this side is zero one zero or something like that. Or sorry, one zero zero. All right, we're gonna start slowing down, and we're gonna go around the city. Cool. All right, turn to left base. Looks like we're going to be doing close to a five mile final. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm allowed to go over the city at 7,500 or uh, 77,000 feet. That's breaking the rules there. Altitude. All right. Altitude. Turn and final. Four mile final. Dropping the gear. Speed breaks out, hold the nose up. Don't go above 12, I think it's 12, 13 degrees, something like that. Uh, hold the stick back. And we can start pressing the brakes a little bit here. Keep the stick back, we're holding the, the boards are out and we're holding the stabs up. And you can let go of the stick now. And we'll put on nose wheel steering. 
put the brake, uh, speed brakes in. Clear runway and proceed to spot nine. All right. Spot nine is on the other side, so we're gonna have to turn around here. All right, mission complete. Nice. You may exit when ready. All right. Oop, clicked off the screen there. <laughs> Lost control. Had to click back into the sim so I could steer again. All right, so we're gonna go to spot nine, which I believe is off to the left up here. Uh, I guess we could do a high-speed taxi. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, as a crew chief, <laughs> there would be these things every once in a while. Uh, I forget what they were called, but basically pilots would take their wives uh, or family up. Uh, not in, as a, like an incentive flight or anything like that, but um, not in a ride, but in a ride in the 16, but they would fly, uh, not fly, they would uh, taxi out, go to EOR. Oh man, I hated these. And they'd have the wife in the back seat. Uh, you only got every squadron's only got a couple D models, and she'd be sitting in the back seat, and we'd get them all set up, and they'd go out onto the runway, and they'd do a full burn run down the runway, and then slam on the brakes <laughs> and get to the other EOR. We'd pin them up and send them back to the squadron. But I'm, I mean, every single time we had hot brakes. Yeah, I hated it. it. Sucked. Really cool for the pilot to be able to put your wife in the back seat and fly her down that runway at you know 200 knots, and then <laughs> then slow down and stop at the end. All right. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Like I said, if I forgot to explain something I did if you noticed hey what how'd you do that let me know in the comments below see you guys in the next one